Hey guys, this is DFD, aka Dark Frozen Depths, and this is a um, video I'm doing on this one. It's a um, game called Dragon Providence, and I found out that it's going to be shutting down. So, yeah, that's the whole thing about this. It's not long before it's going to um, end. Let me see the notice info. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, on February 28th, this game is going to close, so they do have all these events. You know me and Fox Girls, I kind of missed the Tomomo thing, because I didn't know about this until today, which is three days after that event ended. But, um, yeah, if you've been playing this game, then yeah, it's going to be gone in about a month. If you haven't played it and want to try it, now's your chance. Now's your final chance. And it's got all these different events and whatnot. I've done a few videos on this, but they were during crossover events, so you might be able to know a few things from that. But um, more or less, it's it's gonna end pretty soon. And it's actually quite easy to get a lot of scenes in this because the way it works is when you get the character, you unlock the scene, but you unlock additional scenes with the character when you get them a double plus and then quadruple plus which ends up being max so when you um get them the double plus you needed two extra copies and when you get them the max you needed another two extra copies so you need like five copies of the character but yeah i've played this game a long time and i haven't really been too religious with it lately but as you can see, I've got myself pretty up there, like level 191, which could have been way further. And my overall level, because you got different levels for every for different stuff. Like, I got an exploration one, a raid level, and then one for um the Zodiac Shran, which I still can enter, too. But, um, yeah, there's just a whole bunch of stuff there. In fact, I haven't really done too much with it. See, this is proof that I haven't been here for a while, because they're going over to um this stuff again because i don't need to know this stuff you see how powerful my deck is it's like got 1.5 million power which is a lot but yeah see i pulled a few legendaries because i've not spent one single cent on this game yeah i managed to look out and pull a few legendaries like five of them and that rate is low i never did finish leveling up he's a nami but the thing is, trying to get the legendaries scenes and all that, that means you gotta beat serious odds with them multiple times. It's kind of tricky. They give you Ancient Dragon, so if you was logging in enough, you would max her out. And she's actually a very strong one, too. And then Satan's another interesting one I mentioned because she increased your max HP in, in the, um, certain fights where you actually have HP. And then I got a whole bunch of other characters I've been using and whatnot. Oh, never maxed them. Okay. And then there's the GRs, which you can get from um the United Front battles in the case of characters like Arthur or um, Ascalon. And then the Zodiac characters, which would be like Gemini, Taurus. You get them from the shrines. GR can be p potentially stronger than LR. So that's something to know. But... Yeah, I've gotten a whole bunch of different stuff from this. And I don't know if it got... Okay, yeah, see, it's got a list of newest, but I want a list of highest rarity. Okay, so they consider the LR higher than the GR. Because honestly, I think the LR got way better stats than the GR. When you get the LR all the way up. It's just that the GR can hit level 200. Because each time you increase something, you'll get an additional 5. And normally you can only increase it 4 times, which is where the four, 4 crystals are right here. But the GR, you have to get like 21 times to get them to full power. Yeah, good luck. But, um... Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, I got quite a few of these. I didn't know I had Scorpion, which is Scorpio. Sagittarius, there's a whole bunch of these ones. It's at the limit max where you get some bonus stuff when you actually do that. And then she's a post limit, but I never maxed her. 
And then there's Fujin by Hugh. In fact, one of the videos I did, I did manage to pull an LR. I think it's the same one where I got a random Alice. Because, you know, Alice is my most favorite character. And wait, was that SR Plus? Yeah. And see, it even changes the card designs when you get multiple of them. And Alice was a pretty strong one, too, from what I remember. But, um, yeah, there isn't too much you can really do with this game anymore. So, it's closing down. If you're doing it, then by all means, go for it. I don't know if they have anything where it's going to transfer over to a different game. It says Invitation to Fantastic Games. They even they advertise Kamihime Project. Taimonen is not a fantastic game. Oh wow, they're giving you a straight up Artemis. But yeah, this is closing down, so they're going to apparently give you some stuff for these two games. Now, Kamihime Project, if anybody's been playing that, then yeah, you're probably going to re-roll anyway, so you don't worry about Artemis. As for Time Onin, to me it sucks. It's not worth it. So, yeah. That's all I can really say about this. It's been a wild ride, it's been a fun ride, but unfortunately it's almost over. And then I enhanced for a lot of stuff. I would go to the harem section and actually show the scenes, but oh well. Yeah, you could try Revival Battle and all this. I used to run this um, guild as well. But it slowed down significantly a long time ago. In fact, it's called OI Dragons because somebody else had the name and then they made me the leader eventually. It's the same thing that happened with um, Kamihime Project's Union. That's why, um, because I wouldn't have picked the name Opai Desu, but it's okay. But, um, that's the whole thing. It's like, this one, I eventually got passed on to leadership, so that's how it happened. But, um, and interestingly enough, it's called OI Dragons because it's supposed to be Osawari Island, which is another game that it closed down. They've taken out quite a few games off of this side, too. It's like, I remember Aegis, it got taken out. I think it was Lord of Valkyrie. That's another one that got taken out, and it was pretty decent. Osawari Island was very good, and it got taken out. In fact, if you see my um, if you see my previous gotcha video, and then there's a few others that have it, I have a transition screen that has a character from Osawari Island, my most favorite character from there. So yeah, there's that. They took out Osawari Island. They took out Kampani Girls. They took out um, Angelic Saga, and Angelic Saga played like Yu-Gi-Oh. That was a fun game. Uh, they got rid of so many good games. And to be quite honest, I'm amazed Paro Paro Seduction hasn't closed down yet because a lot of people are starting to hate that game. Because from what I'm finding out, there's a lot, there's a lot of pay to win stuff for um, Paro Paro. I'm amazed it's not going down. I'm not surprised that um this one is though, because this did seem like it was slowing down quite a bit. I haven't seen too much activity, period, point blank. Because anytime I did log in, nobody was doing the United Front battles. Nobody was doing um, the Revival slash Conquest slash Raid battles and all that. There is nobody really doing too much of anything. I haven't even gotten to the max characters and all that because they give you these old characters. You sit up and spend points in order to upgrade them and all that. And, well, couldn't do too much with it. And the reason she's still stuck on there anyways, even if I would have maxed her out, I like the Ojo characters too. More so if they're not stuck up, but yeah. But anyways, that's enough about this video. Like I said, you've got till February 28th, so pretty much the end of February to do this. And for those that are curious about the CG, somebody's been extracting them quite a bit. But I got a more direct link I found out. Because the minute I catch wind of any game closing down... I actually go scouring things and whatnot and trying to find all that type of stuff. But I managed to come across a decent link that has all that type of stuff. But anyways, that's all for this video, guys. And the next one for sure is absolutely a Kamihime Project video. I just got to go in the process of making the Guild Order. Um, making the Guild Order video, so yeah. And FYI, I am not showing my grid for 
any more of these Kamehameha Project videos. If, if anybody asks for it, I will just simply post it in the, um, the, the description. Because it takes a, quite a bit of editing work in order to try and slip that in there. And I'm getting kind of tired of it. But anyways, that's all for this video, guys. If I do more Dragon Providence, so be it. If not, oh well. But like I said, try it out for yourself if you haven't. Maybe you might enjoy its last moments. Maybe you might not. Because to be quite honest, if you played Idol Wars, it's a better version of Idol Wars. But anyways, that's all for this video, guys. Take care.